2017 Dodge Viper ACR. The Viper is both all-American and a true exotic, with lots of curves and bulges in all the right places to let you know it means business. The bodacious body and predatory stare give the Viper a menacing look, while its 645 horsepower 8.4 liter V10 can catapult it to 60 miles per hour in about 3 seconds. The ultimate track monster is the Viper ACR, it sports aero aids, special tires by Kumho and carbon ceramic brakes. Remaining 2017 Vipers are the last of the breed, it's dropped from the lineup for 2018. I suppose it's a sign you have a good job when people ask how you got it. For a lot of us, the answer is pure dumb luck, just being in the right place at the right time. But I didn't need luck, because I had Jenny Kowalski. I grew up just a half hour from car and driver headquarters. I'd always read and loved this magazine, but it never occurred to me that writing here was a real job that real people had. And then, during my senior year of high school, Mrs. Kowalski, a counselor with my school's technical education department, got me an internship here. At the time, CD did not regularly take interns. Nobody could remember the last one they'd had. Years later, the staffers who had supervised the internship told me that they agreed to take me on mostly so that Mrs. Kowalski would stop calling and leave them alone. They stuck me in the office library with the task to create a searchable database of the books the magazine has been accumulating since it was founded as Sports Cars Illustrated in 1955. A room full of books about cars in the office of my favorite car magazine? I was in heaven. I was supposed to flip through each book to determine how it might be useful as reference material, punch a few relevant keywords into a spreadsheet, and move on. I ended up doing a lot of, well, reading. On my very first day, I was lost in a book when someone I hadn't met yet knocked on the door. It was the cleaning guy. He was done for the day and everyone else had gone home, so he wondered if I knew how to lock up. I hadn't realized it was dark outside. At the end of my first week, I met with Mrs. Kowalski to discuss the internship. I was predictably stoked. Well, she said, if you ever become a writer for them, I want to write in a viper.